scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God and doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose leaves do not wither and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Don't ever be confused that we're operating in two systems. Everybody say two systems. There is the kingdom of darkness, the world system of doing things. Are we together? And there is God's system of doing things. If you follow the world system of doing things, you will be frustrated, for sure. You will be unfulfilled, for sure. You will live a life of pain and misery and frustration, for sure. You may laugh temporarily. You may pretend that it is working. But I assure you, as surely as the sun rises and sets, you will find out that eventually your life will be full of disappointment. I have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs. Write this down. The first thing I want you to write is nothing happens on its own. Nothing happens on its own. Failure does not happen on its own. Success does not happen on its own. Lifting does not happen on its own. Stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own. A business does not grow and expand on its own. A ministry does not become great on its own. Every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws. Write it. Every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws. L-A-W-S. Laws, principles, keys. A door does not open because you want to enter. Your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors. Access to the key is what opens the door. You can stand in front of a door. You can wish to enter. You can hope to enter. You can even ask to enter. You can beg to enter. But the door will not open. It was not designed to open just from wishing. Whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door. Have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key? And because that key is missing, you can stand outside from morning till night. Is that true? And so the things that we are going to be learning tonight, especially for the laws I will be sharing with you, I pray that God will help you and give us understanding to believe them in Jesus' name. Let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far, right from part one. Can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them. Law number one. Help me please. The law of relationships. Very important. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you studied. I don't care what school you went to. Relationship um, is very key to success. Who you know matters. Don't say who you know does not matter. No sir. You are people away from your destiny. You ignore those people, you never get there. You will find God, but you may never arrive there. All blessings come from God through men to you. Please repeat it after me. From God through men to me. One more time. From God through men to me. It never comes from God to you directly. It comes from God through men to you. There is an impartation that is coming from God. It's leaving heaven, but it's going to pass through men to you. Are we together? Your prosperity comes from God. When it comes from men, you are in trouble. 
it comes from God but men have always been channels I told us when we started that anything money can buy relationships can buy I don't care what it is name anything you know on earth that requires money to get relationships when you pay money you don't pay stones you pay men you don't pay goods you don't pay animals when you give money the sky does not pick the money it gives it to the men they can choose to allow your relationship pay for it are we together that's law number one what's law number two help me the law of value never forget this another word for the law of value is the law of difference you can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to the solutions i can provide and the problems i can solve you're not solving any problem you are unnecessary and will not be needed there's no sentiment about it are we together a sick person needs a doctor if someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter is that true yes you must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings value whatever ability you have never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it the law of value works based on a reward system lord i want you to give me 1000 members you must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace revelation access understanding and content to be trusted with those kinds of people when you rise to that level of anointing you don't have to call them they will come in response to it so if you pastor 12 people don't sit down and complain and get angry and say i i saw in my vision that i'm pastoring a nation but as you increase in value are we together the day three dead people are raised from your church you don't need to publicize for new people journalists will come you don't need to invite them is that true listen i want you to take this take this very law law two very seriously the law of value that means if people ignore me if everywhere i go i am ignored it's not because they hate me i am not a contributor are we together now the world celebrates contributors, not, not takers. Unfortunately, we live in a society that is full of takers. What is in this for me? And life tells you there are all kinds of blessings, but only apportioned for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute. Are we together? Whoever solves the problem gets the reward. Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne. There was a wife. There was a tax-free opportunity. Everybody was afraid to confront that challenge. But a young teenager called David came and said, Saul, I'm able to take on Goliath. And he said, what shall be done for the one who does this? He will get a wife. His family will be freed from tax and he will be honored. David said, I take up that challenge. Do you know it was a risk? If Goliath killed David, they would say, we said it. Now go and bury him and uh, Jesse, take it easy. You have other sons. So it was a risk. Standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve. The kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you. Are we together? Yes. That's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce are we together the amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on why they are all chairs but qualities even among the stars one excelled above another in glory that determines your 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 reward it is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much no your reward is commensurate to your value so if i think my financial returns is small that simply means i am solving small problems or solving problems for small people whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance are we together yes 
the tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house you parted with that money because you could not sew for yourself the day you learn how to sew you will stop paying him is that true ladies and mothers you went to the market today you woke up in the morning with money in your pocket now that money is not there where did it go to it went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for so if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers you will be broke because money will continue to leave you to them the day you join them as a problem solver somebody's money now comes to you are we together when you solve more problems than your needs you become rich irrecoverably more problems than your needs your needs are ten thousand the problems you solve is one thousand you are minus nine thousand that's a life of frustration up today down tomorrow are we blessed the law of value the key to getting out of a life of complex a life of inferiority it's not just to say people don't like me oh i am this i came from this village all that is nonsense the world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people there are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret nobody has forced them to speak english you know why because what they are doing is their sport their field they are footballers that you see with all kinds of things regardless of their limitations they chase after them who pursues you is a sign of your value who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you it's a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them if great influential people pursue you it's a sign that that is the value listen every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands it's left the hand of god long ago it's in your hands we have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why armed robbery and corruption is bad you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we ask, whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not i'm not talking of a life of extravagance you know most times when people see pastors blessed they say ah just for talking that's the thinking of a fool the words i speak unto you they are what spirit and life a pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month why because he's flying people across places that's someone's salary for decades and someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately except some divine intervention comes so that's a risk are we together you sit down and for 50 minutes sometimes eight hours when you are traveling from africa to asia 90 percent of your journey is across water you don't see a single land and somebody is risking to take you over 45 50 thousand um, um, uh, feet above sea level now that's mastery so he's rewarded you who didn't have the courage to go to that school you are the payer and the pilot who risks himself is the recipient the day you are angry what do you do you go to the school when you learn it are we together do not ever frown at a rich man again do not ever insult rich people we have this ugly most of our loved ones sincere people but they are truthfully speaking 
not offering any value and whenever they see blessed people they say see them see them it's a terrible way of living next time you see great people don't be angry find out what they are doing that you're not doing the law of value number three the law of competence and excellence closely related to the law of value value as a raw material is useless it must be refined before it is rewardable value must be refined before it is rewardable value as a potential is not rewardable it's the same thing as seeing crude oil as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations then you produce foil you produce other um, other very useful um, uh, um, what do we call it now very useful things that are required for home for cars and whatever you have and then they reward them competence is very important i taught you that excellence is a language it draws certain people to you the same way if i speak yoruba now every yoruba person hears immediately and they respond if i say praise the lord in yoruba will you answer in english you will answer in yoruba because i spoke your language if i say praise the lord in hausa all who understand hausa will answer back if i say praise the lord in Igbo or whatever language i use that's how excellence is excellence is a language in other words whoever understands me you are invited so if you do not come to the seat of excellence it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1000 people excellence is powerful you must be accurate you must be serious with whatever you are doing you are a tailor be excellent you are a hairdresser be excellent you are a preacher be excellent excellence requires thoroughness excellence requires exposure excellence requires having a reference excellence requires consistent development consistent development outsmarting your own records surpassing ordinary standards that's excellence anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded are we together you make yam and egg sauce but the plate is not excellent it's not washed dirty plate dirty spoon you are not serious it's a sign you don't believe in your business i shouldn't come there are we together you are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people the day you change your plate you are serious when people come into your restaurant you greet them you smile you're welcome sir please be seated how may we help you oh i need so 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 and so do you have cold water oh we don't have cold water here sir but we can get it for you wow he calls his colleagues because experience markets i just found a restaurant when i came here they are so cautious they are nice they are wonderful people i shouted at them and truly i later realized that i was wrong yet they apologized are we together i finished eating and i was happy you are a cab driver people enter your car you don't just frown where are you going i'm going to sabo oh yeah let's go when you reach you just park so yeah okay, come down my money you will attract certain kinds of people but one day one rich man will disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him hello sir thank you so much my joy to pick you where exactly are you going to sir? Sir, oh really you have something doing there sir thank you before you know it he looks at you how much is it 300 naira can you give me a discount well sir honestly i would love to but it may not be possible i sincerely apologize let's leave it at 300 not lie lie 300 i've been working in the morning that's a terrible person are you learning the law of excellence there's no need you can be nice loving yet firm is 300 and then you drop the person um sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within this area i don't have to come from Samo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver 
attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say oh god how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent you are a hairstylist keep your saloon clean you are a tailor you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can't buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you must be excellent you must be competent say i receive grace to be competent if you're frying akara on the road you can make your akara the best in samaru the best in zaria find out what can i add to this akara that will make it very nice maybe the packaging someone comes to take pub why don't you say okay let me get a little tampoli just at a corner here what if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take akara and pub does he have to sit down under smoke? I said, that's how we do it here. Sorry, the cups are full. People are drinking the pub. And he's sitting down. He's hungry and doesn't have all that time. But he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pub. Then you quickly rinse it and pour his own. No, no. That is a dirty environment, a dirty lifestyle, and a life of mediocrity. Why don't you get different kinds of cops? You have brains, discern people. Somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman. Then you can start doing certain things. Make some cops, factor your cost into it. Get a little, if you, if you want, take away, you package it well. Don't just squeeze a, a newspaper, a white paper, or a, a jam paper. I don't know who wrote what there. There is ink. You are putting hot akara on blue ink. Are we together now? No. why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much no there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality they are interested in an experience not price law number what's what's the fourth law law of what very powerful law that you must never forget as it is in your mind so it will be in your life realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life you don't become neat physically first no neatness starts in your mind if you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days your environment will change to look like what your mind is do not try to correct things first from the physical correct it from the mind are we together yes if you are lazy don't just try to prompt yourself change it from the mind everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind environmental conditioning genetic conditioning you have to change your mind that's why the bible says to renew our mind by the word of god i've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring you must return back to your default position 
you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him i say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset the law of the mind is powerful many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindsets some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of god and insulted everyone you joined your parents you joined your loved ones you joined other men of god to tear down other people but as you came the word of god did something to your thinking is that true there was an adjustment and you made up your mind that i will love all men i leave judgment to god now you don't try to not insult people you are free already there are some of you like we spoke about excellence some of you were not excellent at all but when you came just by observation you felt i have to be this i should iron my clothes I, i'm used to wearing clothes that i don't iron i don't care whether it's ironed or not but now i realize it's not the price of the clothes it's who wears it so i iron my clothes even if it is 200 naira i don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then i now wear it no mindset the most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation anybody who is resistant to mental transformation there's nothing you can do with that person the law of the mind that's law number what law number five the law of faith i'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray the law of faith we are teaching success systems the fifth law is the law of faith say after me the law of faith f-a-i-t-h the law of faith the law of faith if you will ever succeed in life you will need to use your faith what is faith faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about god and his word faith is the action you take the name given to the action not just the belief the action that is taken based on conviction obedient action based on conviction and the word of god being the source of that conviction that's called faith so when i take action based on the understanding of the word of god i have my heart is full of conviction and it, com it compels my life to respond accordingly. I am walking in faith. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is not obedience. There must be an instruction before obedience. Faith is not just conviction. That's called belief that you believe a thing does not mean you have faith faith is believe plus obedience conviction plus obedience many people claim they have faith they only believe the word of god are we together numbers chapter 23 verse 19 nobody will give you a guarantee for success you will have to use your faith nobody will give you a guarantee for success read it everybody is projected one to read god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent hath he said and shall he not do it or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good in other words when god speaks it is within his power to make it come to pass say god has the ability to make his word come to pass say it one more time god has the ability to make his word come to pass write the following things down number one you will have to take risks to succeed 
you will have to take risks to succeed in 2010 during our kingdom wealth summit i taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled r i s k that's the spelling of faith we live in a world of people who are so risk averse so fearful they will never do anything christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action it's one thing to wait upon the lord and to wait for seasons but it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith brothers and sisters if you must meet jesus you must walk on that water if it be thou bid me come and he said come there are too many people who will not take action you will not start that business because you are afraid i watch somebody lose i don't want to lose money i don't want to lose my shop i don't want to do this what if the birds die africa is full of what ifs and we never take action stand up and do something what if i apply and i don't get the job it will be that i wasted money it would take five thousand for me to go and submit my cv in lagos it will take another five thousand for me to return maybe i will need to book a hotel ten thousand and stay two days if i spend thirty thousand just to submit my cv what if i don't get the job there is no guarantee there is no uncle there we live in an age of fearful people risk averse people every champion every world changer listen to me is a person of risk abraham take your son it's a risk the law of faith a time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like esther say if i perish i perish failure is not the end of life don't fear failure when you fear failure you program it to happen in your life great people are not those without failures listen carefully great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall the brand seven up for years i didn't know why it was called seven up until i began to study brands and i found out that it was called seven up because the person tried six times six times and failed it was the seventh time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you opened a shop after one week and robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor broke and mediocre you sit down wishing i will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it there is a vacancy i don't know anybody oh should i apply should i not apply and you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you go and submit the cv listen the world only honors men of action not just men of wish men of action after all the planning and everything you must take action take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this 
and for 64 years they couldn't do anything the fearful and the cowardly never become great write it down the law of faith the fearful and the cowardly never become great there are people today i will learn how to drive in the name of jesus you started two weeks one one truck just passed near you and you said it's not by force the first time you you went to a driving lesson you were 19 now you are almost 40 you can't take a car by the road why not because there are no cars i don't want to die but somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other yet you see some of these house boys have you seen them during salah nine years old on bike they don't think of failure all of them they learn how to ride bike in two hours they learn how to drive their buses within two days their orgas pack it for them in pz and then while they are gisting, the boys are the ones who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um we we are going to i, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded i said no i didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to buy else i don't know anybody you say everybody please call uncle this call auntie that how old are you 30 because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them talk don't pursue women don't drink beer love God be serious we bless you bye bye when they came into the city they knew nobody but their God and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is god that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um i want to move forward my parents do not have the opportunity to help me please sir can you allow me with your grass my budget is six thousand i don't know how much this will be but i can weed your grass i can call my friends and you look at a young man walking his way to greatness and you can say go ahead and weed it and instead of giving him one thousand or two thousand you can give him three thousand and your number you have helped that boy are we together there are many people who do not want to take action there are many men today who lost their job since year 2000 till today they've been given all kinds of flimsy excuses that's why we love prophecy because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility say in the name of jesus i receive grace tonight to take action give us job 325 never fear failure write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure 
you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you are not getting established why because i am i don't that my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down and tell yourself i'm not going to beg again i sit down and i will do something let me tell you heaven will back those who will take action and be serious you are waiting for marriage to bail you out you are a lazy person you are a very very lazy person there are many men who are looking for wives i don't have a problem with our ladies honestly in terms of responsibility my challenge especially over action is for brothers there are some of you looking at me right now you are growing older but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level no action if at age 30 you are still calling home mom C, will you send me something pop C, will you send me something listen to me very carefully you are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word abba the consciousness to be a provider Are we together you are a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but i'm telling you now you are failing god in that family are we together i wish i had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones let me tell them it's a shame when a daughter a son turns to their father and say father is it's time I, I need to buy a shirt and the man said what will i do sir I'm, a, I'm in final year i need money for my project should i kill myself i tell you the truth that is irresponsibility to the core what should that person do you are simply saying go and be a prostitute i don't care action today we are here by the grace of god because of action after you plan you must act when you fail you stand up re-strategize and move forward let them laugh at you the ones who are laughing at you have not taken action that's why you see let me tell you anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything it's not because they like you it's because you have not done anything yet the law of faith matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 8 please give it to us every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee it is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee the bible says ask and it shall be given to you it says seek and seek although you have not found it seek it listen when i started doing something about my finances i didn't know how to move from point a to point b i started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you pursuit is the proof of passion you must be passionate enough to pursue it i watch people right now i don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain in the sun and little discomfort and he says, sorry uh, the way my hair is eh? every time i'm listening once there's heat it destroys you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created them that, that but you as a man i have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> that means that panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears 
brother say in the name of Jesus I didn't shout it in the name of Jesus from this night I declare that the days of wishing are over I take action now go and start that business go and submit your CV don't sit down tell yourself by September I should be walking that's faith by September I should be walking and see whether the God of all flesh will not make it happen Lord I have failed but I'm starting again I, I see the mistakes I made I don't have any capital now but Lord I trust in you if you fall and remain there then you have really failed but if you fall and you still stand up you have not failed are we together everybody say courage shout it courage there is nobody I have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything and today God has honored them you must be courageous Joshua was now going to be a leader over several people several people God did not tell him Joshua make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse he said be strong and of good courage they will act like fools but be strong you are a leader there is an anointing upon you you watch what we do today by the grace of God and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said I will give you venue or somebody said no nobody gives you any guarantee stop insulting your uncles your aunties your brothers and sisters and say nobody is supporting me let your faith support you let your faith support you are you hearing what I'm saying let your faith support you you had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan apostle but I've never gone there I'd like you to prepare and trust God for grace share the idea with two or three people carry your CV and go to the park in the night you are in Kaduna Park where are you going in Ibadan and see whether God tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there he's waiting for you in Ibadan he's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience as soon as you get to Ibadan in the in the luxurious that you enter you will now meet somebody where are you going so it's like I know you somewhere ah your sister's graduation I was a classmate really where are you staying the miracle starts the Bible says this sign shall follow if you don't take steps you will not see signs Apostle, when will I enter? I, I mean, I need the healing anointing. Must you die before you know you fell under the anointing? You let sick people pass you. Somebody says, I have cancer. And you just say, ah, I remember this cancer is, can, can be transferred. You see, that attitude of unbelief, you will never walk in power. What do you think a miracle service is? A show? No. Nobody starts with mastery. You see how children walk? They start and then they start crawling. Do you stop them from crawling? Sometimes in a bid to hold the table, they hit their head. Does that mean walking is not possible? How? The child hits the head, you, you rub it. What do you tell the child? Sorry. Sorry means sorry for now. Continue. Move again. You love that child but you cannot walk for the child. The person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult. Are we together? I wrote jam five times. I didn't get it. I will give up. Are you joking? No. Look at jam and say, jam, as for me and you, one of us will give up. One of us will give up. I will walk you and weary you. Where will the money come from? Don't worry. Don't worry. God is alert and active, watching over his word to perform it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, apostle I'm of age and I need to move from my parents house now to get a place but uncle did not send the money keep quiet one day you get up and go and buy a bag with the 2,000 you have pack your clothes and say daddy just like you advised me I'm on my way going I got one one room somewhere 
and I'm going. He said, that one room, nothing. There's no carpet. You say, sir, if I don't leave, I will not become a man like you. If I don't leave, I will continue. For as long as I come back and I can go to the kitchen, who had part of my yam? You are still a child. You need to push yourself. And you stand up. And while you are moving, God is saying, watch this. The angels are backing. You do not know. All of a sudden, the moment you get there, some brothers from your fellowship will come and God will speak to somebody. Buy him a rock. The first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself, not in partnership with another person's faith, your faith is growing. And you begin to see that God is faithful for yourself. Uh, Apostle, I think I need a job before I move out of my father's house. How was your father when he moved out of his own father's house? Very fearful people. Very fearful people. Hallelujah. I teach responsibility, but you must conquer fear. You get out and you stay in that room. It's raining. And water is dropping on you from that one room. And you are just imagining the AC that is in your own house. Exactly. That's what made Moses a savior. Pushed him out. And as that rain is dropping, it drops and does something to your brain. And you say, no more. I can't live like this. I'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me. The very next day, you will sell two clothes and buy one book. You are making progress. And sit down. You go and get financial dominion part one, two, three. And sit down. Next time you hear people are fasting, you don't say they are just... See, do you know why many of us don't take action? We have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds. You think it's your faith that is working. The proof that your faith is working or not, leave all the support and stand alone. Then you will know whether you really have faith. Are we together? There are people who don't know how to trust God. There's this song in my heart. My trust is in you. You know the song? Sam, help me. Just that one song, one minute. I want you to sing that song because I believe God is speaking to somebody. You know the song I'm talking about? Lion of Judah My trust is in you Ancient of days My trust is in you I put them on you My trust is in you I put an end to you. Say, my trust is in you. Oh, and I am a Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. Alpha and Omega. My trust is in you. Somebody say, I put them on you. Trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Say, the Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. I am that I am. My trust is in you. Jobless here. I'm talking specifically to the brothers. Sisters, you, you are coming, but let me speak to the brothers. If you are jobless here, jobless does not mean civil service. Jobless means stream of income. You are not doing anything and you are not serious. I want you to know that God is talking to you tonight. Take action. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you and some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a barbing saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me. It's a principle. You know it. Go and open the barbing saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. 
you may not be a millionaire but from that little God will honor you tell yourself I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me everybody that passes you you are waiting and hoping they drop something when will you start blessing others are you hearing what I'm saying yes challenge yourself challenge yourself can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria three of us let's come together how much do you have 500,000 how much do you have 200,000 how much do you have 100,000 let's have an agreement let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around you make it the first 20 people free you launch it come and collect a bottle of oil here shake I will pray on it with all my heart you drop it on that shop it will be like jam hold on don't shout you have never done it how many times have I spoken about it here listen listen action takers are the ones who move forward you graduated 10 years ago you submitted your CV twice and it's because they told you who do you want to spoon feed you with a job stand up and take action fail honorably and come I will hug you I will pray for you and you will go back you are learning how to walk you are learning how to walk everybody say I will rise again I'm speaking to people who tried rising and then you went down and Christians are usually the ones who say take it easy yo. take it easy yeah this, this decoration how many people get married in Zaria you just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all this look at the, how many ribbons you know you even say you want to do canopy you better don't destroy yourself and all of a sudden you see somebody will come and just when he's opening the canopy that's when God is bringing explosion to another church and they'll say you are the one who is supplying this look at those who supply canopies imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia every week even if you don't do any other business again yet you are sitting down buying fake things fake whatever to prove levels that you have not gotten to challenge yourself the law of faith you must take action i have taken bold steps in my life bold steps in my life the word trust in the lord proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 is from the word bata it means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones you see how this my children come to greet me after service some of them just run and just fly and expect that i hold them if i don't hold them it's still me that will pay for it correct a child runs to the father you gave birth to me i didn't ask you i fly pick me that's what you do to god when you take action you put pressure on god's integrity lord you said this you said it is it is it is um what about any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel i'm a married man with three children lord i am tired of allowing waiting for my wife to come back with twenty thousand, and that's what we're all feeding from these children cannot go to school lord i receive grace to take action i will go and seek advice i will go and receive prayer i will receive an impartation but i will take action the anointing can come upon you but you must take action for it to work when did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed oh let me run to prayer department benga or let me run to promise or oh, anybody let me run to any of the people oh let me run to this i think i'm hungry let me run to the welfare mama please man you do you know the way nigeria is then if you, if you don't challenge yourself you will never rise you need to take action take action take action tell yourself no i'm going to be responsible lord i trust you lord i believe you there are many of us who have never sown a seed do you know why because of fear never sown it god cannot even tell you to empty your account yeah, 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 yeah. you will bind bind and cast and curse and say let this voice never speak to me again that's why you can never rise i'll never forget the time the lord gave me an instruction to sow everything over 80 percent of all my clothes aside from what i did in water court and i just carried those things when i sold them it was as if i would die now i live if god tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything i would do it gladly because i know him 
I know him. Not because I like it. Not because it's convenient. When you know God, then you'll be able to take certain steps. Are we together? Yes. Listen. The workers in this ministry start dressing, arranging chairs and canopies way before people come. Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and you say, ah, God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle. The law of faith hebrews chapter 6 verse 15 god is speaking to someone tonight hebrews chapter 6 verse 15 ah this thing i've shared it has fired my spirit and so everybody read talking about abraham read on and so after he had patiently endured did what Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Over my destiny, my trust is in you. Help me, sir. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Ancient of Trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. my time who will come and marry me let the guy come first when he comes and i'm sure the day he ever says i will go and see your parents i will read like never before you will never marry that way are you hearing what i'm saying yes oh five children are going to come out from this womb you take a step of faith you have not entered any relationship who knows me look at that foolish question what do you mean who knows me god the god you serve you lay your hands, shape, you are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie, but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. You put pictures around. Put a picture on your laptop that represents your future. And every time you see it, you prophesy. I may be small now, but in the name of the Lord Jesus, I have no father, I have no support, but I'm coming. I'm coming. I trust the name of the Lord. I may be weak. I may not be able to explain to people I'm doing something. They may even say you are lazy. What are you always doing in a room? Why are you always sitting down and you say, I'm building my mind. They say, what is mine? Are we going to eat mine? Just continue. The day God honors you. Then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight. I believe that there is an anointing on this song this night. That people have to trust God. Take action. Trust God. It takes faith to be great. It takes faith to have a healing ministry. Nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed. It takes faith to be a man of God. It takes faith to be a businessman. It takes faith to be a wife and a mother. You are not allowed to have a child ordinarily. 
before marriage. So how do you know you are fruitful? It takes faith. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of days, my trust is in you. My destiny alone, my trust is in you. There are people who will never build a house in their lives. Many of our fathers, their salaries were 150. Now they are retired, there is no house. You know why? Because of fear. I will build it one day. I don't have enough money. Then God granted you grace. They created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land. Four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house. Mostly, their wives will tell them, Honey, build, build. Time is going. Is how much is the money? There's one money I'm expecting. It will come tomorrow. God said you have 100,000. It can bring one tip of sand. Go and bring it and pour it on the side. That's faith. You are saying, Lord, I'm starting this out. The hand of Zerubbabel that started. When you start, God begins to move people. I remember the first day we bought equipment. I remember one by one, one by one. I remember when I started buying, you know, not even just for ministry, for myself. To think and say one day I'll get a laptop is a joke. A laptop? Who gives you the money? See, hear me. This God is a good God. Worship team told us already. This God is a faithful God. But while you are waiting for him, I don't know who I'm speaking to this night. God is saying, I'm tired of waiting for you. Take a step. 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 Who told you the business will fail? Take a step. Are we together? Take a step. Ah, I have one million naira now. I'm thinking of starting small poultry. I'm thinking of getting a little golf. But I hear that these cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out. So you will remain there until the day somebody comes. Usually, those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen. You will carry 100,000 from it. Something will happen. They will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail. And they will massage your ego. And you will know when you carry 300,000. On behalf of me and my wife, I donate this money. And the money has finished. And you'll never be successful. Success systems. The law of faith. Every great man walks on water. Every great man walks on water. It is your faith that turns that water to concrete. We are going to sing this song one more time. And then I'll go to the next law. But I want you to sing it with understanding. I have trusted men, they have failed me. I have trusted systems. I trusted my certificate, it failed me. Lord, I lift my eyes and I trust in you. You are the one who can wipe my tears. My uncle promised me and disappointed me. Many have concluded that because I finished with the past, there is no greatness. That's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust God. But I'm challenging men of faith. Lion of Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. I am that I am. My trust is in you. I say, in my family, Lord. My trust is in you. I put them on you. My trust is in you.
please listen carefully to what I'm about to teach. The law of favor. I want to show you right now in this law the mystery that brings favor, perpetual favor upon the life of people. Favor. Psalm 89 verse 17. The law of favor. Lord, I pray that somebody will get this. In the name of Jesus, I pray that somebody will get this. Psalms 89 verse 17. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor shall our horn be exalted. Favor is the number one reason people succeed. Favor is the number one reason the number one reason why you will succeed is favor you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams it is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor no sir you've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor it is hardly an exaggeration one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor many people do not have favor in their lives why because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor and it's like whenever you say favor we leave it on to God God just favor us now no there is an exact equation that leads to favor favor is not a miracle write it down favor is a reaction favor is not a miracle favor is a reaction you can program favor in your life a reaction means that it is a response favor is a reaction it's not a miracle favor miracles can happen and do happen but favor is not a miracle what is favor let's define favor favor is when someone is willing to invest their life their time their resources their credibility to help you achieve your goals that's favor when somebody is willing to participate in your success is called favor when someone is willing to invest their life invest their credibility invest their money invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals it's called favor favor is not just unmerited access that's a very limited thinking limited teaching limited definition and is the reason why let me tell you whether it is merited or unmerited favor is access calling it unmerited alone is very limited favor can be merited favor can be merited your obedience and understanding the bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice their resources to help you succeed all success are related to favor all success whether all kinds of success financial success ministry success business success marital success they are directly related to favor all success testimonies you want to write all success testimonies are related to favor i have heard so many success testimonies there is not one of them that is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony 
all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called Ahasuerus hated one one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters now many Christians think it doesn't matter I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence on God I understand that context but in terms of channels to release favor is a joke who likes you matters there are people listening to me from Joss we came back from Joss and um, while I went to minister in Joss you know part of the system of honor for me there was a little girl lovely lady and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower you know just to greet me and as soon as I got into the hotel there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know would come you know recite I didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so -so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and I looked at the lady and I fell in love with that dear girl instantly and I told her I said Do you know what you are my friend when I came on stage I made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because I liked her not because I know her I just liked her the next day I said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together I was gisting with her and I looked at the lady and I said I want to do something for you I want to do something for your family please bring your mother I want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her I, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes I, I thought it's three three years so can i changed the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king stop sleep because he liked daniel early in the morning he got up by himself oh daniel has your god been able to deliver you daniel said i'm alive he said bring all those people daniel didn't say please can you help me punish these people the king said me bring them throw them kill all of them somebody because he likes you can fight your enemies for you enemies you don't have capacity to fight somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation what is going on here sir they want to collect our land our father is dead we are only two he say no way i'm a lawyer come and meet me in my office i'm a lawyer i'm a senior advocate what did the person say because of that we will charge him to court he will not only return the land he will give you part of the money for the foundation i know what to do let's go and you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sent to jesse saying let david 
I pray thee, stand before me. Why? For he had found favor in my sight. Go and tell that boy's father, bring me that smelly boy. Regardless of what it is, let me tell you. When you find favor before a man, regardless of what your limitations are, they are ignored to bless you. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. Now, this is coming as a shock to many of us. Write it down. We're getting deeper now. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. If one day God will bless me, it's a joke. You are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life. The Bible tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that Samuel grew in favor with God and with men. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26. 2 26. And the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and with men a man can increase in favor with god and favor with men the number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor lack of favor i have seen gifted people who don't have favor i have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor Gifted engineers, gifted doctors, gifted students, no favor. I have seen gifted men. Have you seen men who are gifted? They do work for you and you are like, my God. And you are at this level. I know people who know everybody known. Yet there's no favor in their life. You know that? They know Senate president. They know one, the chairman of their local government. The governor's friend is their father's friend. And they, have, they will show you the numbers of people. If I show you, look at this is Saraki's number. This is Dogara's number. In fact, do you know that when I was staying in Lagos, there was a day that Osimba Jo came to our house. I know him, oh, and there's no favor. They watch everybody on TV. Ah, that's Ambassador ABC. You remember him now, 1971? No favor. No favor. To be gifted is not enough. You need favor. You need men to partner with your life. This ministry by the grace of God is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of God's favor Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time say it again this is my set time turn it into a prayer in one minute lord this is my set time when promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time of God that you arise the set time the set time hallelujah how many of you believe 
that from this night favor will begin to follow you yes i don't share my testimonies do you know why because many people misunderstand my testimonies when i share testimonies most people not you but maybe most people will think it is um it is pride you are boasting what does he think he is if i share with you testimonies of these ministries what does he think he is but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know god is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging listen let me tell you brothers and sisters god is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me i only found less than 20 percent of my life ex expenditure everything almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up and say promise i am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night i looked at certain things in the body of christ and i looked at certain men i looked at certain ministries and i saw tears some testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them bless them one of the greatest people let me tell you i am convinced i received the impartation of favor directly from dr mike modok i knew when it came upon my life you know why he's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of christ because of seed 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 and all of that i may not necessarily believe everything but i saw on common favor on common a favor like a charm and while others were grumbling i said lord this man is an apostle of wisdom he is the gift of god to the body he represents a spiritual system that controls wisdom and the bible says with me wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because i am a product i am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name ebenezer that a man that god has helped god lifted your hands that's why when i worship god i i i, I do it i live a very happy and a very peaceful life because i found the key to god's favor there is no time in my life when i lack men to rise and assist and defend this ministry you see we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings the ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that i begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight are we together i'm wetting your appetite and then i'm going to teach you quickly while i begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor i want you to believe it there is such an impartation upon a man for favor father please let your people believe you please please let your people believe you if you don't believe this you will pay for it i promise you
there are times for months months i never go to the atm i even forget that i have an atm there is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now a lot upon a lot how they got my account number i don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor i shared with you last year about the gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it it is not by might it is not by power are we together there are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one i have never aside from another again two really one a cousin to reverend george adeboe of rema he may even be listening now with his wife every time i travel to lagos to a particular church for meeting there he comes with his wife materials upon materials favor There are bags full of gifts I have not opened since they came. I don't even know what is there. Who told you favor does not work? There are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry. Nobody knows who they are. They didn't even call to say, I am so, 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 and so. What makes you think there is no favor? <laughs>
and a gentleman just came trusting God. I think he's here. And you know, just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount, dropped it. Now I say these things all the time and I thank God. But it was a woman's testimony that blessed me. I saw her with a big bag. Some of you were a big um, bucket, a small bucket. And I said, Madam, what is this? She came with her son. Do you know what she said? She said, man of God, I was having a dream. And in that dream, you said you wanted to eat chinchi. And the mother, the woman got a bucket full of chinchi and came yesterday. It is still, it is still, I've not even opened it to see what is there. Chinchi. Favor. Favor. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. This is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life. Any other thing, you will cry and weep and hate people. That's why we cannot give. Because after sweating so much for 50,000, will you really be able to give it? Are we blessed? Testimonies. There is no place and there is no day that I wake up. I wake up every day. May God forgive me if I'm lying. There is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages, with recharge cards and bank alerts. Every day, including today, without fail. This is how I live. Because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits. Sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van. You ask the boys that work for me. A conga van, bam, just stops. Somebody has ordered something and paid for it put my address and they are offloading these things and I'm saying God what is this what are you doing to me and God says no you can stop it you can stop it if you want I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key do you really think you can live a joyful life when you sit down you really think your salary is what is going to bless you to be established who lied to you there is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me and looked at me and said, please, the Lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in Lekki. It's still there. I've not been there in years to see it. People have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell. Man of God, on behalf of our business, we put A, B, C, D portion. This is for you. And I'm saying, God, what is this? They gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40, 50 estates. You know, houses and all of that. A man of God, just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission. And when we are done, one of the units is yours. And I'm saying, what is this? you see why I don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on, on Tuesday, we are going to Kano tomorrow. And on Tuesday, we are going to Nigerian Immigration Services. Their headquarters. Where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation. I have been with them for how many years now? I think about four, four years. We go there every year. I talk to them. I counsel them. The top of the top leaders. You don't even enter their office. Yet for them, it's a privilege. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. That's favor. Listen, listen. I'm not teaching you cunningly devised favors. Favor. Favor is not just money. Men are rising to assist you to succeed. After my meeting in Joss, I had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. And when I was done, a lady walked up and gave me something and said, Please go and give your mother. I said, Hi, this thing is still working. I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was telling, I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult.
God to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 Naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? Jesus. The first key to activating favor is sowing the seed of honor. The first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor. Write it down. Honor is the first key. Sowing the seed, not receiving a harvest of honor. You must sow the seed for honor. Because honor is the key for access. When you sow seeds of honor, you begin to activate favor. What is honor? The ability to recognize, the ability to celebrate, and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness. That's honor. Not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart. The ability to recognize. The ability to celebrate. And the ability to reward men for their honor. The seed of honor. I don't mean money. A seed called honor. You sow honor into a man's life. There are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor. No favor in their life. They don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man. Everybody is the same to them. All men are equal. Hey, please, I don't do all of this. No. Honor. Many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor. We transport you after koinonia. Do you know why? It's a seed of honor. We are programming honor upon the ministry. It's not just that we have a lot of money. When our elderly people come, we don't let them join the queue except they want to. They sit down. It's a seed of honor. When I hug our children here, it's a seed of honor. My life is a walking seed of honor. I have mastered sowing seeds of honor. The first key to command unending favor, honor. Honor through conversations. Honor through your body language. Honor through your, vest, your gestures. You see an elderly woman and I greet her. Mama, how are you? That's the seed of honor. Oh, she cannot speak English. No problem, Mama. Don't put yourself under pressure. You don't have to know English. Find an interpreter. Seeds of honor. Are we together now? Yes. I sow seeds of honor everywhere. Once you discern difference, you sow that seed of honor. That you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it. You must sow seeds of honor to parents. The entire hamper that was given to me while I was in Jos, they already know I carried it with the wine and everything and I took it home. As I got home, I just dropped it. When my mother heard I was coming to church, she said, what do I want? I said, I'm not sure. I'm, she should not do anything. My mother refused and said she must do something. She made chin chin and made chicken. That's my mother. But she has discerned that this is not only my son. This is a man of God. Seeds of honor. That's why honor keeps coming. Honor is not coming because she's my mother. She's walking these principles. Let me tell you, whoever walks it will receive it. Bad manners. Being rude. Dishonor. You are driving favor from your life. You don't treat people well. You treat everybody like a piece of rag. There are men of God who favor stopped in their life when they rose. Because they have no regard for anybody. They receive honor from others but they don't give honor. So those lower than them. Let me tell you the mystery behind stagnation of favor for many men. They keep receiving honor. Those lower than you keep honoring you. But then you yourself don't give honor. So you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you. Then you start saying, you people are competing with me, Abi. There's no such thing. You refuse to rise because you too are supposed to be rising. There are sowing seeds of honor 
if you keep sowing seeds to me in koinonia whether money or whether whatever and i don't do the same thing you need to see me when i stand before greatness you will not know it's the same apostle joshua selma you're talking about if it means me cleaning the shoes i do it with jesus joy honor it's a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing koinonia honors the holy spirit that's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders we don't ignore his presence it doesn't matter what we are teaching as the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us from place to place every church i have gone to i have honored them honor them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well i don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together i'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do i activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down two value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them it's drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's let's just come in or they, sh they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies god bless you and thank you hallelujah solving problems we are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems as i'm teaching now i'm adding value to you is that true I'm adding value listen let me tell you something your when you start solving people's problems you should do honor thank you sir there are people I've never seen who call me man of God I just listened to your message essentials for a glorious relationship you just saved our marriage here is a little seed man of God I just listened to your message financial dominion man of God I just listened to your message why revivals die solving problems the moment you solve problems you show honor and everywhere there is honor i teach that there is favor and everywhere there is favor there are all kinds of rewards including finances so the more valuable you become in solving people's problems joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing Dr. Mike Mundo calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay, you have asked, let me tell you. This is what happened. And he interpreted the dreams and it happened. Value. You must begin to solve people's problems. They will love you. They will honor you. You must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver. You are either creating problems or solving them. You are either creating problems or solving them. If some of these chairs are free, please let's, let's not have people stand. They can occupy the chairs. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Number three. The third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity. The third key to activating favor in your life 
is integrity integrity very very important what is integrity it comes from the word integer sameness consistency let me tell you something you're a man of God here listen to me before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry they will prove your life don't think because you just started ministry people will bless you they will probe your life they will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them after a life a season of integrity and consistency then they conclude you know let me tell you something hold on many people think that the moment you are anointed you are charismatic people will just be loyal to you like that it's a dream there are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty do you know why because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty nobody will be loyal to you like that parents will not just ask their children oh i don't have a problem with you loving this man of god give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts then they will honor you are we together when we started out in this ministry most people thought that you know we're just joking most people thought it was all this young people's thing and for 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 years most people thought i was on serious it's just all these young guys doing things on campus it's just these people trying to do something but eventually i never was angry with them because every great man must be probed same people should not probe you it's a joke they check your character with ladies they check your character with money they check your character with discipline they see how you manage challenges they see a lot of it is based on that they will say Kai, this man is what my commitment we have seen that god brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him he did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat this is a consistent man this man will be my pastor there are many people roaming around calling everybody son calling everybody daughter what investment have you made in their life you must allow people probe you you start a business and they suspect whether your product there are people when i started out because of the dimension of the anointing in my life many people thought you know you know anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is and i used to hear people say it and i say leave them even me if I attended Koinonia and I watched a man called Joshua Selma, I would think he's holding a charm. And then you watch. There are many people, some of you seated today. Years ago, you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences. Some of you argued it, but with time, now you are some of the strongest people. Do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take Koinonia messages. There are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down there are youth groups youth fellowships around you know why because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations there are men of god who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people but the day they have needs as a ministry they start bending to that standards are we together yes once people see integrity and consistency then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say listen let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you never stop anybody listen if there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident are we together Many of you get angry when people suspect you. <laughs> How can Pastor Alpha have been watching him? The way he has been rising in the last three months. This guy may have taught something. Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you. So that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. There are people to do it. They are the ones who are defending this ministry. Ah, no. I used to know this brother. There was a day he gave me 50 naira. He started his giving sins. 
do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones to defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and said wow i have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days okay, we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh we don't know if god is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has torn honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil people are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing 
this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor number two ease ease the mystery of ease people like bishop oyedeko would call it sweatless triumph ease where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage battles that stand before you while you are preparing to fight them you open the door and find dead bodies favor for your battles favor has fought my battles in life i have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise we magnify your name Koinonia, look at this we are in zaria in the north this whole road this is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win. It's a waste of time. It's like boxing in war. Where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable. Literally untouchable. Because God will raise help left, right and center. Left, right and center. Left, right and center. Many of our parents have no favor. No doors opening for them. Nothing happening. Favor. Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drunk of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. Somebody came early in the morning. I was sleeping and I had, it, it was like there was water splashing on my car. And I checked and I saw somebody washing my car by force. I know if I ask you, you won't agree. I said, what is this one? 
Honestly, they even disturb it just washing the car with joy. I said, now if I drive this person, favor, favor, it is real and it happens. We have sown seeds of favor. We meet the security people, we honor them, we bless them. The, the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers, they come here, so I'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting. 99% of them are not necessarily Christians, but they love Koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening. No complaint. You know why? Because seeds of honor have been sown. Seeds of honor has been sown. There are so many people. We have scattered seeds of honor around. Look at CGC and the honor that they have shown this ministry. I have never seen a ministry with men of God as humble and members that love Jesus and truthfully like the members in this church. CGC. It is true. It is true. It is from my heart and it is true. Hallelujah. Some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this. And I'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor, I must sow seeds of honor. Every time people sow seeds of honor, sow it back. Don't receive and wait. You receive, they have risen, but you have remained where you are. They will be calling you a superstar, but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you. Somebody blesses you. Ah, um, Pastor Alpha, bless you. You reciprocate back. That way both of you have risen. We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Biome, the Lord asked him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Biome traveled to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call he carried something whenever you see consistency there is something Show yourself strong And in my heart And in my heart And with my soul Oh Lord Be man Make sure you're singing it from your heart Inside and outside Oh, 
Lord be magnified. Now tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight. Say it so that when it happens, you will know he did it. Don't keep quiet. Say, Lord, change my story. Deliver my family tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known with me. The glory of the Ale Lord let the heavens be open I command the miracle angels the angels of deliverance across the land and breath of this building Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah. I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families. Listen, it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go. For the enemy has done this. And God has so highly exalted him. Lift your hands. As I rebuke the works of darkness. As the power of God comes upon you. Let me help them in front. Thou devil of darkness. It's time to go. Let God's people go. 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 Let the power of God fall. Fall. I command demons. Powers of darkness, for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name. Go, or shall spring them outside that devil. Let God's people go, those outside, lift your hands. The power of God sets men free, sets men free. Set men free. Katalaka pato dodo bakata. Randa dabosa. You're going to shout Jesus once, and the power of God. Devils will leave. They must go tonight. They must go. Are you ready? Especially outside, the power of God will fall like rain. Shout Jesus. Let the angels, the angels of God, are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Change. Be broken, change, be broken, change, be broken, 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel, a mighty angel, a mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel, mighty angels, mighty angels. Mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside, but the Lord shows me angels. Mighty angels. The northern army of the Lord's eye moving in power. Time of Satan. Time of over the destinies of God's people. Outside, an angel of the Lord's presence. We magnify your name. We magnify your name like fire. I see a whole roll outside. Like fire, a whole roll outside. Like fire is falling like rain. Like fire. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell can stand the fire power. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. Every devil over God's people, those of you in front, at the count of three, I command every devil go, go, one, two, three, out, 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let them go free. Every delay, every habit, every spirit, out of witchcraft, every enchantment. My sister, be free now. That devil, let her go free by the fire power. 
of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. 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 Be free. That devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Bring that girl. Hallelujah. For you cannot stand the light of God. This lady has been tormented. Satan, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. The heavens are open. God's power is touching everybody, not just those in front. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now be free. Come out of her. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Upon you. That fire power. Upon you. That fire power. In the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Hallelujah. I see a woman. I see a woman who came with a child. A woman who came with a, a... I'm seeing a small boy. Where is the woman? Inside or outside? What's wrong with the child? His body is hot. His body is hot. Can you lose him? Can you hold him? If you are deaf, hear me inside and outside. If you are deaf, whether in one ear or both ears, if you brought someone who is deaf, put your hands in the ear that is not working. It's time for deaf people to be healed now. Or even if you are hearing, I see two people. You, you are hearing, but it's not clear because it looks like there's water. You literally feel like water is going to go now. For one of you, water will literally come out. Katapato kopaya. Deaf ears. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Death, yes. Make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing nothing to You him. believe God who set this boy yes, free right I, now. Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes, Listen, there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. name of the Lord Jesus I set you free the power of God is going through his body that's what is making him uncomfortable 
in the name of Jesus be free now be free now I command your temperature to go down your son is free take Hallelujah. Someone came. I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came. You are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly. Please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? Pain. It's paining you. Yeah. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, 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 turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone you have abnormal, what do they call it, medical students? Help me. Heartbeat, irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing. She's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Don't worry, I'm not saying you should pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? God will give you a miracle here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please, watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that, if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it, please? Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? Help out with the mic. What did you feel? Now try walking. Stamp it. Come. Get up and try to stamp it. Try to stamp it. Just stamp it. Try to stamp it. You still feel pains? You still feel pains? It's... No. Are you serious? Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you, this is a simple thing. I'm telling you, don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself. Because that's what a lot of people do. You like this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere, someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we will save time, they'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been walking with this? Yes, sir. You can't walk except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. 
in the name that is above all names i command the fractured leg to go let it join right now see look at what is happening to him look at what is happening to him this is the power of the holy ghost this is the power of the holy ghost going through the leg in the name of the lord jesus look at me sir look at me can you walk look at me just start walking follow me look at this look at this he came with crutches jump can you jump any pain fracture a fractured leg a fractured leg a fractured leg a fractured leg just got healed right now by the power of the holy ghost a fractured leg hallelujah if you're blind in one eye what happened to you sir there was a who knows him who came here with him oh you know him he's a popular person is it true that he has been working with this crutch come on give jesus a shout of praise yahweh i think we should give god some praise yahweh Let's have the mic. Pastor Jake just prayed for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies. So, hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man was, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it got perfect. It, it became perfect. Come up, come up, come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. Yahweh, 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 If your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious. I'm serious. Please make sure you believe. We are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place. By the power of the Holy Spirit. We command AS and SS to change now to AA. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle has been treated for the past. Three Your years. uncle? Okay, hold on. I'm a footballer. My uncle has a twist. So every time. Your uncle has twisted? Yeah. How long? Every time, three years now. Every okay. Every time I'm running, the uncle will be making some. Just remove your shoe. Let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. It's a devil. Go! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe. In and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers, hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or oh, Bishop San, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. I'm a sport. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey. I'm a sportsman, and over the years, I've been having this uh, muzzle pull. Muzzle pull, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. 
and right now there's no right now he's healed the power of the holy ghost blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord pain in the right hand there's someone i'm seeing pain here very severe pain you even cry who is that person it's time for you to rejoice pain severe pain is like a shock in your right hand who is that person pain no 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 check yourself please check yourself and if act on it come on watch this could you do this before could you do this before watch a miracle happen could you do this before stamp it stamp it pastor stanley just pray for him hallelujah the lord perfect you in the name of jesus christ how many of you are celebrating what god is doing in this place the hand the lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand please when we call your case just run out quickly you are the one good evening thank you where is the pain in your right hand how long has it been up to five years now. Up to five years. What's wrong with it? What happened? I don't know. Just like that. Whenever I stretch it, I feel pain. In the Can you turn it round, up and down? Hold on. Can you do that before? Yes, no. But you, you feel pain. Yes. All right, watch what will happen to you right now. You believe that? <laughs> it is such fun to see, such fun to see. Say can lose. Hallelujah. Look at me. I come in a name that is above every other name. And we challenge this devil. It goes. Look at me. I want you to wind it as fast as you can. Go ahead. Don't think about it. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at me. Sister, what happened to you? Could you do this before? Could you do this before? In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with her? What is this? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able more than Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns me. Devil of darkness, be gone. In the name of Jesus. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, bring this lady. Just bring her. God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched, but she matched something that is demonic. That's what is happening to her. Jesus do this for your glory. Do this for your glory. I set you free. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free. I declare you free right now. Shalom. Located your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that healed thee. 
a sick person you are a guest please come and line up quickly you brought a sick person you brought a sick person please just pick up god is doing some you brought a sick person now is the time please come out let's save time you brought a sick person outside you brought an invited guest who is sick please come quickly bring them to the front What's wrong with you? Please, technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pains in my chest. Pains. I feel pains. You believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. You believe he'll set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest. One of the watchers. is a demonic oppression you will rise up totally fine come come you're welcome come what's wrong with you madam schizophrenia what schizophrenia mental disorder schizophrenia we, i think we should employ some medical people who is studying you are a serious medical student or you are a doctor eh no we have doctor sir please come quickly quickly appreciate him Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist ah oh so it's like madness yes. like a psychosomatic yes. condition you'll be free right now look at me my dear you believe that because devils he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted to set the captives free huh my dear hold my hands hold my hands can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go. In the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay, okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? Yes, it's going to leave her forever. All right. She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes. Is that true? Yes, sir. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. You just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? This is a headache I've been having headache. over a year now, yes. And it keeps making me present. Go! In the name of Jesus. 
Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. Be totally hope. In the name of Jesus. They pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. All right, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. You are sick in your body, quickly. Oh, oh. standing there I'd like you to be praying say Lord as these hands come upon me an end comes to it don't go back with your sickness those in the congregation be connecting some of you will be receiving the healing anointing in the name of Jesus go by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus
praying will soon be done. I like everyone inside and outside. If you know anybody in your family, listen, who is not feeling fine, or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying, whether it's HIV or cancer, I like you to be connecting. Are you listening? The worshippers are they, they are worshiping. It's not just for the formality of it. They are creating an atmosphere. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So I want you to connect. Are you listening to me? I want you to connect to what God is doing. Please. 
Can you see? Touch this. Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven and earth. family has experienced any kind of delay now is the time to let go any kind of delay no 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 no. hold on because of I know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but I'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of God will touch you I sense a strong anointing are you listening to me? A strong anointing. Lord, let it move across right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Restoration for your family. Great restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please, just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates bring this lady ah I see a lot of demonic things come out of this family now in the name of Jesus every yoke of bondage Lift your hands, everybody. 
Projects that are not completed by your family members. That devil of delay is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot. At the count of three, the power of God as he's hitting you is touching your family members. One, two, three. Like red, oh God. Like red, oh God. So, papa, ta, ta, ta. Every spirit of today, go, 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 go. I command doors to be open, break through in the name of the spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice, let the doors of destiny be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are a student here, I'd like you to shout amen. amen. You will know why you are shouting amen now. Because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues, that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him. And he was ten times. Suddenly, his, his intelligent creation his, his capacity listen friends I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploit in your academics listen and if you are in 100 level happy are you in the name of the Lord Jesus hold on leave her don't touch her in the name of the Lord Jesus, look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. The contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the Spirit. Tap that lady. Just tap her. Come. All of them. No, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your, by himself. He will pick you from your seat. No matter how far you are, he will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them. Leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, Leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, He will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of God. There's one more person. There's one more person. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. By the of the Holy Ghost. Sister, you come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. Katata Badakata. Randata Kopoto Kosapata. Pash. 
God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. Say, you have supernatural exploits. I set you free now. Sister, I set you free. Because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit. And I hear what she's saying. The Lord is setting your family free. In the name that is above all names. For after the count of five, victory will be established. That's what the Lord tells me. One, two, Three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. For God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family. Can me come? Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere. In Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, Kemi, for you, look at me. It's a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you, would have, you are supposed to have entered it since. But the Lord is restoring to you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power and the influence of the Spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. At me there are three breakthroughs god is giving you do you understand one i will not talk about it but you know what i'm talking about the second is in the area of your business and that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge are you listening to me wisdom and knowledge but look at me god wants your heart like never before do you understand business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. 
Hold my hands. Give him an impartation, oh God. Let him know he met the King of Kings. Strong impartation. In the name of Jesus. I command freedom for you. I command breakthrough for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come. You came from a university campus. Not Zaria. Where are you? You came from a university camp. Not Ebi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus. Not Ebu. Who is that person? Please. Please come my brother. Come quickly. Come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart. Like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But you don't worry. Is that true? Sir, what did you expect? To prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many. Please, technical help us. So, uh, I, I'm looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life Look is. Look at me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer, let it fall on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the gentleman? Come. From where? Futimina. Futimina. Mina again. How many of you know that God is doing something in me now? Hold my hands, my brother. You came, you will catch a fire. Look at me, look at me. You came with, an hung, with a hunger. God will not leave you. Just lift one hand up. You will feel literal fire coming upon this hand. And it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. That strong fire upon you. It flows from your hand from your hand to every part of your body and look at me there is the spirit of leadership upon you you are going back with a strong spirit of leadership are you listening to me i'm hearing the name rebecca sorry we're out of time we'll round up now rebecca rebecca who is rebecca rebecca A student no where are you i'm in secondary school you're in secondary school yes, sir. will you be available if god uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school yes sir. what school is that jama secondary school jama secondary school hold my hands both of your hands say after me jesus i'm available like Catherine Kuhlman. Let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire in your tummy. It's that of the spirit. You will never recover from it. Never. Never. In the name of Jesus. 
foot me now. Okay, why did you delay? We have to hurry up. Please, did you bring your prayer request? All right, quickly. Quickly, your prayer request outside. Make sure your prayer request. If you are outside, please write it quickly and pass it. Just stay where you are. to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you foot me now uh, but you need to dedicate time for God huh? you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in him. In the name of Jesus. That you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer request, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming, wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. lady close to Jessica. Come. Yes, you. Come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you eyes being put upon you Lord I pray that she will begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today in the name of Jesus my dear God wants you you believe that and he wants you this is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you they don't even know where they are going focus on Jesus Christ are you listening to me you need him first ladies what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus. If you know how to love and relate with Jesus, a man will become an asset to your life. Are you listening to me? Hold on. We'll soon pray that prayer. That special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined. Do you like that kind of prayer? But you must be willing and obedient. Sister, look at me. You want me to pray that God will anoint you? You want to pray? good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please, give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please can you come up and sing There is none like you, your guitar. Hallelujah. While you bring the prayer request, Steve Strings will sing There is none like you. I just sense that that's what we need. Do we have the prayer request? Please quickly. Quickly. If, let's, let's have it, please. Pour it here quickly, quickly. All right, there's this. If you've not written, just write. We'll give you one minute quickly. Is no this is not a ritual. God answers prayers. I'm telling you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search to all eternity, Lord, and find there is none. There's none like Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody, stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach, you've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside and the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside, one leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend. But I like you, don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. There are many ways. He said, I am the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to count one to ten. I like you to leave your seat and run out. At that count of, don't be ashamed. The Lord is talking to you. Many of you from the time I began to preach, you have come to the end of the road. As I count, as I begin to count one to ten, I like you to run and come out. One, two, leave your seat and run inside and outside. Three, four, run out. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Five, outside. God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. Ushers, help them. Ushers, help them. Six. Leave your seat. Forget about your friend. No other name. Forget about whoever you came with. Like the name. We are waiting for you. Seven. The name. Come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. There is a better life. There is a higher life. There is a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced. In eternity and in this way, no one seven. Jesus is still calling. Jesus is still calling. No other name. Eight. We have two more counts. Outside, Jesus is still speaking to a few people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend. Leave your relatives. Come on and come here. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. The name, like the name of Jesus. Ten. Hallelujah. Just say, dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you, please help me, forgive me for my sins, make me a new creature, wash me with your blood, make me clean, I receive salvation in the name of Jesus, from today, I receive power to live a holy life, 
in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. Blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that has held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin... Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be new is in the law of life God. for you. Please so get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, please look up. We, are, we don't have time. Pastor Jax is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning. We Are you listening to me? Everyone must become like a soul winner. Planted by the Hallelujah. Of water. Sir. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know Hallelujah. that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear you. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like this. us. Hit that Lord notification bell to receive more updates from Some us. You because we you know like that whatever feet. content here is going to set you That's on course at every time. Right it's going to make you attain whatever stature fire that Christ wants you to attain. You Thank you. Thank you, blessed Lord. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Please lift up your hands as we pray. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands as we pray. Blessed Father, Abba Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I ask that God, you release from heaven, you release a fire from heaven, Lord. You release a fire upon your people from heaven. I ask in the name of Jesus, let there be a visitation. Let the presence of God come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls. In the name of Jesus, let fresh fire, let fresh fire be released upon your heart. Your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it. You will not find rest. You will not find rest. In the name of Jesus, your tongue, the fire of God comes upon your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God comes upon your feet. The Holy Spirit will lead you to, to speak the word, to speak the gospel. The angels 
of salvation. Lord, we pray that we release in the name of Jesus the four corners of this place. Let them be released. Let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released. We pray. Lord, I pray that you grant your people vision for souls, the hunger for souls, for souls. Jesus! 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 Aprendo siba, rieto mi anta, intush limante, risuminta, mionte, itapila, suminante, itusigrasse, rista minta, sumelete, itapasubala dalabala, Lord, I pray that God is fire will burn continually. We pray to burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now, Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will fall strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit and the cold of the altar of the Lord rest upon your heart. Let your heart will yearn for His presence. Let the Lord be faithful for your family. Well, I will turn to the Lord and take your family to the Lord. Well, I will turn and deliver. And the people of God from the house and the mouth of the enemy. For the Lord found you and led you and in successful men and women of prayer. In the name of Jesus, may the authority of God rest upon your house that you will speak for him. 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 your hands here quickly if you dropped any prayer request here I'd like you to know it will be answered Lord we pray stretch your hands and say Lord go ahead and let's pray Lord do mighty things solve problems bring impossible miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus as we make contact with these requests in the name of the Lord Jesus prophetically wipe the tears of many in the name of the Lord Jesus 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. Rakata prokoto prokoto baladaba. Rakata prakata 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 baladaba. Rakata prakata 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 baladaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Every prayer point here, let it be met. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release supernatural miracles for the sake of your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. This is the final thing I will go. Please, if you came here, now is the time for you to receive something. Please, don't go back the same. Hallelujah. Listen. See, the apostolic anointing is not just talk. Are you listening to me? The apostolic anointing is an office. Are you, are you listening to me? It's an office. It's not just apostle. This, no, 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 no. It's an office. No man works. The Bible says he gave unto some apostles. It's a position of authority. Are you listening to me? It's an office that is recognized in the spirit. It's, an elect, it's not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an office. God gives us this office to open up doors for others. It's an election by grace. And if you believe it tonight, you will step into a level of blessing. Lift your hands. Lord, if I be a servant of God, truly called into this apostolic office, my God, confirm this anointing upon me. Once again, I invoke the anointing that was given upon me when Jesus appeared to me. My God and my King, let there be a performance. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. I challenge thrones. I challenge dominions. I challenge offices. I stand in the anointing of this office. I compel every closed door over your life. Over your academics, delay in marriage. I release you. I call your partner to come to you in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that the favor of God, for He has granted unto me by grace, my God and my King. I see it like water flowing from the ground. Let the favor of God sweep. Let it sweep across this congregation. Outside, I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. I prophesy favor. If you can hear my voice, receive favor. Receive favor. In your academic favor. In your financial favor. In your relationship favor in the name of Jesus hallelujah I want to prophesy speed upon your life and that of your family members in the name of Jesus before the next miracle service I prophesy run with the spirit of Elijah supernatural accomplishment exploit by the power of the Holy Ghost Exploit, exploit, exploit. Hallelujah. I pray for every project, whether in your life or your family, building project, capital project, businesses, in the name of Jesus, God of heaven, the one who is at work in this place, I invoke by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be grace for completion. Receive it. Receive it. Outside, receive it. Outside, receive it. I pray for your academics. In the name that is above all names. I want to release it upon you. And if you will believe, I release five points. In the name of Jesus. I release it. I release it. I release 
first class in the name of the Lord Jesus supernatural intelligence every dull mind I command you be productive be intelligent every cause you cannot understand go back and challenge it now in the name of the Lord hallelujah I pray against habit masturbation pornography whatever it is if it's a habit that is not of God this moment you have prayed you have fasted you have done everything you know to do but I come under the anointing in this office I command be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus hallelujah I pray all those who are trusting God for life partners and for marriage listen please if you are not trusting God better put your hand we are not playing here we are very very serious if you are trusting God for I don't mean people coming around first and foremost any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life I pray that tonight God will open your eyes in the name of Jesus may God expose destiny destroyers this night may God connect you with the will of God for your life I command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus I command any kind of terminal disease and I see this the Lord is showing me ladies many diseases infection whatever it is I cause it now to his root in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah I pray for your finances my God and my King if your word is true between now and the next miracle service if it is the God of heaven we serve you will receive a call if it is a God if it is God that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you I prophesy it I program your spirit to receive it in the name of Jesus I hear a call it's a call it's a call that's what God told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of Jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth escorting men if God be God may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams in visions by prophetic encounters by the revelation of the word in the name of Jesus hallelujah finally I pray for you lift your hands there are certain anointings that God has put upon this house are you listening to me number one the presence of God I don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of God the wisdom of God financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my God and my King may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of God the power of God the miraculous I activate the gift of the Spirit now all across the building the gift of the Spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues I activate your spirit man visions visions I call for five-fold ministry five-fold offices let the apostolic arise let the prophetic arise let the evangelistic arise let the pastoral arise let teaching graces arise Ba-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta 
upon ladies strange order of the prophetic strange order of the prophetic strange order strange order grace to see grace to hear grace to move in power hallelujah hallelujah we're rounding up please listen to me in closing all of you hear me inside and outside please listen we're training people to be men and women of character yes the character of the spirit must be at work in your life your conversation you cannot be speaking as if you are not born again and then when you come to church you say hallelujah no you must speak like a christian are you listening to me say amen, amen. inside and outside say amen. amen you must speak like a christian hallelujah you must act like a christian act like jesus is lord of your life anything cannot be it be disciplined you are a leader and be humble say i receive grace for humility if you are an arrogant person in this place i set you free from that spirit of arrogance be humble listen make sure by love you serve people are you listening to me the greater one in the kingdom gone are the days of all these men of god ah protocol for me uh -uh. the greater one is the one who can kneel down and serve are you listening to me take away that wrong mindset of ministry that has been given to people oh you are the woman of god you are the man of god bend down let your work speak for you let to wash the feet of others consider others better than yourself are you listening to me say i'm a christian if you are coming here for the first time let me prophesy into your life please leave your seat and come out inside and outside appreciate them very quickly please come out here quickly come out here quickly please clap for them they are coming ushers lead them to come to the front you are welcome give them a koinonia welcome we'll soon be out of this place now hallelujah quickly quickly thank you jesus come on koinonia will you appreciate them hallelujah 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 please keep coming we'll pray for you I want to thank every one of you for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. Especially for many of you who came all the way. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. We receive you. Hallelujah. We are happy. We are proud of you. We want to pray for you. That this will be the beginning of unusual hunger for God. That this will be the beginning of passion for the things of the spirit and that this will be the beginning of an unlimited life of breakthrough in the name of jesus saints of god stretch your hands towards them as we pray we are praying for you may the lord bless you we pray that god will make you better than you are in the name of jesus for those of you who have been healed and touched i pray that your miracle will remain in the name of the lord jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye